guys, thanks for stopping in. I've been doing some fishing this week. Today's Friday and it's raining, but on Wednesday I caught a nice 22 and a half inch striped bass. So uh, today I'm going to cook one of the fillets and this is a real simple way, but it's one of my favorite ways to cook fish. It's, I just uh, dip it or coat it in some cornmeal and then pan fry it. And I've done this with many kinds of fish, bass, panfish, catfish, even any kind of store-bought fish like tilapia, any kind of fish fillets will work for this. So um, let me put a picture of the fish before I cleaned it up, and then I'll meet you over here and show you what the fillets look like. I got two really nice fillets off that fish and uh, of all the types of fish I've caught, I've caught quite a few different varieties over the years. I think striped bass is my favorite to eat. They're really good tasted fish. So uh, what I usually do when I catch a fish is after I fillet them, I put some water in a container and sprinkle a little bit of salt in there and just soak them overnight in the fridge. And um, that usually kind of helps get rid of any like muddy taste and kind of get any excess blood out of them. It just cleans them up and makes them look a lot nicer. So I'm going to rinse one of these fillets off and cut it in half and we'll cook that thing up. Now I just coat these in cornmeal. I don't even dip them in anything first. Usually the cornmeal sticks pretty good. Just kind of get both sides. All the ways I cook fish, my wife and my kids say this way is their favorite. <laughs> and it is pretty good. I've been cooking it this way for years. I'm going to use coconut oil for this because I feel like when you cook in cast iron, stuff doesn't stick quite as bad when you use coconut oil as compared to some of the other oils. So, uh, and coconut oil is solid until it gets to, it gets warmed up to like I don't know, 80 degrees or something, then it turns to liquid. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know that. One video I did a long time ago, when I first started using this, I uh, had a tip sideways when I opened it and it was a hot day and it spilled all over the counter. So, <laughs> I learned my lesson the hard way on that one. All right, kind of just get that bottom of that pan coated in oil. And I have my meat, my meat, my heat, um, not too high. Let me see. I'm going to have kind of uh, sort of medium heat. Those are fairly thick fillets, so if you turn it up too high, the, uh, the uh, cornmeal will burn before the fish cooks through. So uh, go ahead and get those fillets in there. They fit. It's tight squeeze, but I think it'll be okay. If you, I've done this in uh, non-stick pans, and you don't have to use so much oil if you use non-stick. You can just uh, even use cooking spray if you want to. All right, we'll let those cook for a few minutes, and then we'll be back and flip them over. All right, it's been about five or six minutes on that side. I can see they look kind of brown on the edges. So let's see if I can turn these over without them falling apart. And without them sticking, There we go, lost a piece. <laughs> oh well, looks good though. Now let me try this piece. Such big pieces, I can't get the spatula all the way underneath them. On. There, that looks pretty nice. Now I'm just gonna hit these with a little bit of kosher salt and then a little bit of pepper. I think they're just about done. They're cooking about 10 minutes. So uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and shut them off. That cast iron holds the heat for a long time, so they'll keep cooking for a minute. Well, these look good. The cooking time was about 10 or 12 minutes. Let's see if I can get a piece out without it falling apart here. Perfect. How's the bottom look? Oh, yeah, it looks good, huh? Nice. I was going to make some tartar sauce for this, but to be honest, I, that piece that broke off when I was flipping it, I ate that and it tasted so good that I'm thinking, you know what, you do not even need tartar sauce. This fish is so good. 
Wow, this is excellent. My wife inhaled her piece and she doesn't really like fish that much, but she loves striper, striped bass. She gets all excited when I get one of these. And I do too, because I don't get them very often. Look how juicy that fish is and flaky. Yum, yum. Wow, this is so good. Like I said, if you've never had striped bass, if you can get your hands on some, I don't think you'll be sorry. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.